The Patia City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. And I would like, for people who don't know me yet, or maybe uh, you don't remember me, I <laughs> uh, would like to tell you a bit about me. Uh, I started in 1992 uh, in the food supplement industry in Belgium. Kotot? Yeah? Turn off your phones or turn them to vibrate. Thank you. Uh, that's a good reminder. Well, uh, then a few years later we realized that just selling product was not uh, the thing we should do because when we talk about health, weight loss or whatever, people need some services and guidance. So in 2000, with some nutritionists and dietitians in Belgium, we found the Nutrition Club to offer free services to people who use our product. And then that concept I brought back uh, in Thailand in 2008. And uh, yeah, it's a long time ago. And, uh, we started with my future, at that time, my future wife, Kun Wan. You can see in the picture in the middle, uh, doing some shakes and smoothies. And then we started in 2008 to visit all the uh, expat communities of course the PCEC, but also the expat club, the Rotary club, the German club, the Dutch club, the French club. And thanks to all this expat community, we build a customer base, right? And believe me, we had a lot of job because a lot of people were quite uh, unhealthy, let's say like that. Um, and that's also at that time that we, we came here in uh, PCEC. The first meeting, you can see the Roger, was in March 2009, and the last one in 2016 with my friend Warren, uh, we talked about the essential fatty acids, and it was, I think, a very interesting uh, topic as well. Now, why so long time, but I did not come uh, anymore here, because I'll explain to you uh, on the timeline. Uh, the first thing is, then it's 2012, we start with our first product, because before that we just use uh, vitamin, minerals, tablets in tablets form, or protein shakes. But then we started our first homemade product, which was actually the kefir milk. And the kefir milk is what we use to make the cheese that you are eating this morning. Kefir is a microorganism that when you ferment it with fresh milk or even water for people who are vegan uh, is the best source of probiotic. Uh, maybe you're not familiar with that term, but probiotic is the good bacteria that our gut needs to work properly. But a big turn uh, was in 2016. Uh, you know, our, our daughter born in 2010, so we were quite busy with a small kid for a few years. But in 2016, we decided it's a big jump to open uh, a shop with our proper product. Actually, it was not our product made by ourselves, but we import organic food, superfood, nuts, seeds, oil, etc., and so on. Everything was labeled uh, certified organic and under the new brand, Health Hut. Then in 2017, two big events. First, uh, we create the Padaya Health Club to separate the services we want to offer uh, from the product that we are selling in the shop. But in 2007 was also the year, in May 2007, exactly when I got a food poisoning. But the food poisoning, my friend, <laughs> I really, I mean, I don't wish to my worst enemy to get that kind of food poisoning. It took about three years to me to recover. And I lost, for example, 13 kilo within two weeks. And believe me, it's uh, 30 years that I help people to lose weight and I never see anyone 
losing 13 kilo within two weeks, unless he has cancer last stage, you know, or maybe, uh, no. So I developed also autoimmune diseases. I lost 30% my vision. I got many, many, many problems. I visit hospitals and doctors. Everyone say, you right, you good, no problem. I say, I, I feel I'm gonna die. They say, no, 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 you good, look, you have the body of a 30 years old man, you, you have a good brain. I do all the tests, I spend 200,000 baht just doing some tests, and nothing came out from this visit. Then I remember my courses in nutrition, and I visit uh, what we call the functional medicine uh, forums in Europe. Um, functional medicine are uh, all certified and PhD, but they just change, uh, let's say, somewhere in the road. They say, enough with the drugs. Now we consider the body is the doctor and the food is your medicine. And these people are specialized in analysis, the urine, the blood, the stool. They are very good for autoimmune diseases and I followed protocols. Uh, roughly is a detox. So thanks to that, sometimes you know in adversity you have opportunity and that's what I did I learned much more uh, from compared to what I knew before about detox and about uh, what are the harmful substances in your body and believe me it's a very serious matter especially in Asia for us Farang because we don't have the same body than our lovely Thai friends um, 2020 Another challenge, we had a factory, uh, we had a um, hotel who used to make our bakery items and they had to shut down because of the COVID. So again, adversity transformed into opportunity. We, we were forced to have our own factory and it was very good because actually we learned more and it was hard because no money during the COVID. But anyway, we started to make our own bread and other bakery items. And then in 2022, it looks like an anecdote because uh, vegetables, what is vegetables is not very, uh, it's just a product you may think, but it's much more for us and I'm going to explain to you. Recently we joined, uh, we started a partnership with a company called AHA and this is uh, Aquaponic Hardware Asia that are um, manufacturing and designing aquaponic farming system. And it's a nice introduction for uh, the, the next fl uh, flyer that is talking about the future, what, are, uh, what is our next step for 2023. That's an uh, urban farm in Pattaya. That's our next big project together with that company. Aquaponics I'm not talking about it today, of course, we will have a topic maybe in a few months only for that. Uh, to make simple, it's a little bit like, you know, hydroponic when we, call, when we grow vegetables on water, but actually hydroponic is not that healthy because they need to use chemical to feed the plant through the water, right? But aquaponics, they use the fish and thanks to the waste from the fish, and the nature do the job with bacteria and worm, it has been transformed into a fertilizer that will feed the plants. And then the plants will clean the water that come back to the fish. And it's a closed circuit. It is actually the healthiest way of growing vegetables. Much better than organic. Because organic you have still to cope with the pollution from the the soil and from the air, but also you need some time to understand that you have some bandits <laughs> on the market. Shearers, really. Example, in 2016, we found out that more than 50% of vegetables labeled organic in Thailand have traces of pesticides and fertilizer. Aquaponics, you can sheet. If you use chemical to spray on your plant, you kill the fishes. If you use uh, antibiotic for your fishes, your plants have problem. So that's really exciting project, and uh, we're gonna talk about it uh, in another meeting, I guess. That's also why we choose to stick 
to that kind of uh, vegetables because it's the best quality and it's actually our moton. I am conscious that we are in a niche. It's not for everyone. Actually, it's for everyone, but not everyone is interested by what we're doing because it's a little bit extreme and sometimes also more expensive than the normal food. I, I, I agree about it. But it's important you understand uh, how to protect your lovely body it's to give it the purest quality also. An organic or certified organic or natural 100% is the number one rule to avoid pesticides, fertilizers and all the chemicals. The second is gluten free. You may think, and so what? I eat bread or wheat flour since years and I don't have any problem. I did the same. I born in Belgium with a piece of bread in my hand. But uh, after my food poisoning, I started to develop a very high intolerance to not really the gluten, but what we call the modern wheat flour. And the modern wheat flour has nothing to do with the wheat flour that when you guys and my were kids, at that time the wheat was like 120 centimeter high, very flexible, we had life around, we play in the field, we have flowers, butterflies, now, go to have a look in the wheat flower uh, land in America or China and you will see they are 50 centimeters, very strong, no life around. The problem is for us consumers, it tastes the same, it looks the same, but actually it's a trap. It contains twice as much as gluten than the ancient wheat and it's full of pesticide and fertilizer and on top is genetically modified which is, remains an issue for body uh, health because it's still unknown. Believe me, we don't know on the long term the impact of genetically modified organism on our body. Vegan friendly, I'm not vegan personally, I'm flexitarian, I will say. Uh, I do my best to eat less meat for ethical reasons but also of the, because of the quality of the meat itself. And that's why health thought we did not take the risk to play with the meat here. So we stick to a vegetarian, 5% of our product, and vegan, 95%. But there was nothing about ideology, it's just a choice. Then, pesticides free, obviously, and non-genetically modified. So in our shop, roughly, you can find all these uh, kind of product, organic grocery, gluten-free bakery and snacks. Uh, the one you, you had today is uh, typically uh, what we sell the most, actually. People would like to have bread, but not the bad flour. And people would like to eat some healthy dairies. And this product does not contain lactose anymore because the kefir grain eat the lactose to grow and make the baby. This is a summary of our signature product, the one we make in our little factory. And of course, and to me it's the most important actually, that's education, information. We need to be aware about what's going on here. The world is not the same compared to the 80s. It's the last time you can really, about food quality, 1985 exactly, was a big change. The world changed when Monsanto arrived on the market. Today is Bayer, but it's the same shit. Uh, we offer nutrition checkup, we offer personalized diet program and target program. So that's very important. Someone said knowledge is power, and that's more than, more than ever, it's totally true. You really need having more information and that's one of my job today to provide a lot of information and I would like we visit together four of my uh, observations through the last 30 years the first one is the way we eat today is the biggest threat to our health and therefore to our lives we have gone from eat to live to live to eat one said you are what you eat, but most of people don't know exactly what they are.
food nourishes who you are, nutrition nourishes what you are. And that's the distinction we will try to do today. And if you really understand that, I, I th I'm sure you will take some, some decision already today. So the way we eat is the biggest threat. Uh, some facts. Well, today I don't really believe the World Health Organization anymore, but <laughs> let's say in 2001, when they released this uh, statistical was quite accurate, it's even worse today, 20 years later, 70 to 80 percent of the total of the premature death are due to only three diseases. Number one, cardiovascular disease, 55 percent. Cancers, 37. And diabetes, 3 percent. Together, they represent 95 percent of the total premature death. Is it clear for you then? Okay. Because me, the first time I saw these numbers, you know, <laughs> I was sick and it was... But what you can see now, it's even worse. Half, about half of these deaths are attributable to what we eat and drink. So for many years, our media spread fear about terrorism, about road traffic accidents, about COVID, about whatever that, uh, you know, we want to read on the first page in the newspaper. It's this ridiculous amount, like road traffic accidents, 0.62% of the total death. It's always too much, don't get me wrong. But the real monster is in your plate, my friends. Not on the road. And that's what we need to really understand. These are facts. We may like it or not, but it's true. Because today, and it's not nothing wrong with it, but we've, we eat with our senses. The way we eat today is quite superficial. Because we like the smell, the taste, the look. So we eat like, if the place I go to eat is cute because of the sea view, and I can take some selfie, I am with a sexy lady, or I celebrate the birthday of my friends. Whatever the reason, that's why we go to eat. And the smell attracts us already, you know? And then we have buffet, like, like today. So if we have to pay, come on, I want my money back. Three plates to make sure the money come back. You know what I mean. Is that bad? No. It is who we are. And there is nothing wrong about it. We eat like our mother, grandmother. We eat like that because we're British. We eat like that because we're American. We eat like that because we're French or whatever. We are proud of our national kitchen, you know, cuisine. But at the end of the day, what we forget in that story is what we are also. Not only, but also. A great, a wonderful machine that is not that sexy on the name card, but what you are is basically water. 60, 70 percent, because we are water as well. We are cells, 37 trillions of them. And we have 10 times more bacteria than we have cells. 80 percent of your bacteria are here at the gut level. This is life inside life. And we are also 80 different organs. Did you know it? Now I have a question for you. If you were the engineer in charge of that machine, my first question is, are you qualified for that job? The second is, will you keep that job <laughs> or will you get fired? But try to put diesel in your motorbike, just to see if it will work. Just 
a half liter of diesel in your motorbike. The motorbike just stop immediately and nothing you can do. You need to bring the motorbike, remove the engine, cleaning everything, and then you can go again on your motorbike. The body is not like that. You give him shit and he say, come on, I have to cope with it. And he's doing the job. And he's doing the job. But the difference with the motorbike and your body is you can change motorbike. You can change your t-shirt if you don't like it. You can even change your girlfriend if you don't want to stay with her. But you can't change your body, right? It's, yeah, and when you arrive at, uh, sorry to use a term a little bit shocking, but it sounds like an insult to our intelligence. Because we're living with a body that's supposed to bring us up to the last breath. We want it because it's our best companion to be in best condition to do it, right? And we kill it, little by little. I even want to say another thing. I have a daughter, now 12 years old, and I'm also shocked the way we educate kids. They come from the school with a good score in math, and the parents say, yeah, you deserve it, let's go to McDonald's. Oh, because you like the playground and you have your free kids, these and blah, blah, blah. And the children say, wow, thank you. What's wrong with us? It should be the opposite. Your kid comes from school with only two out of ten in math, bad results, and you say, <laughs> sorry, but we're going to have to go to McDonald's. And then she should say, oh, please, no, daddy, I don't want to go there. It should be like that. You know, we recognize our kids with ice cream, with candies, with things like that. And they become bigger and they have many problems. Come on. But anyway, as I said, it's okay because we are like that. And it's not my point. When I worked in Belgium, I was more strict about it, and my people listening to me. Okay, chef, I do like that. But when I arrive here, people say, Pascal, I'm 60-something, 70-something. I work all my life to be here, I work hard. I'm not going to become Mr. Perfect. I'm not going to be on diet. I want to have alcohol, I want to have food, I want to see girls, whatever. But I also have cholesterol, blood pressure problem, overweight, blah, blah, blah. So. How can you help me? Uh, that's actually in Pattaya that I learned the most. Anyway, if you are the engineer, these are the five main families of nutrients that you should give every single day to your body. Without changing your habits, just adding new things in your body. When, when you do that, you can expect at least that the body work normally. We're not talking about miracle, we're not talking about treating a specific diseases. We just talk about have a proper weight and shape, a good level of energy the whole day. I see already three people sleeping this morning after the breakfast, because need to digest, you know, and... And normally I'm not really someone, normally people don't sleep when I talk, so I think they are very tired. Um, <clears throat> sufficient protection against many uh, chronic diseases, good mood, the cognitive system improvement, and normal muscle pain and cramps. Ex example for this point, normal muscle pain, uh, pain and cramps, or better sleep, they are linked together. Did you know that 80% of the population is in magnesium deficiency and if soon you start to take magnesium every day everything is going better no some people go to see the doctor and that get sleeping pills sleeping pills does not work because you are like in a coma but you never reach the deep sleep so it means the day after you are like uh, you smoke three joints of marijuana yeah and it affects your liver if you take magnesium, especially the lotion,
because the tablet, unfortunately, cannot be absorbed by the body. Only one tablet per day. If you take two or three, you get diarrhea already. The lotion you apply on your legs, your arm, do the job, through, go to the bloodstream without passing by the digestive system. It's just an example. So when people come to see me in consultation and talk about sleep, cramps, muscle, the first thing I say, say magnesium. And after, come back in a week, you will tell me. Balance, level of blood pressure, cholesterol, digestive system improvement, blah, blah, blah. It makes sense because you just give to the body what it needs to work properly. But actually, nutrition can do much for you. We were talking about the basic nutrition. Now we talk about the optimal nutrition. When you really want to improve some problems, some issues. Example, and sorry, but we are all... Uh, concerned by aging, right? <laughs> this is something that we cannot stop anyway. Viruses, pollution, heavy metals, chemicals, bacteria, stress. So a higher level of nutrition, now I'm talking about reaching the top level, can protect you against this problem. Also about the viruses, very trendy, huh? as you know, since 2000, end of 2019, beginning of 2020, we talk only, only about viruses. <laughs> but you also heard that some people are totally asymptomatic. Nothing happened. Three years, no mask, no social distancing, and no jab for me. Neither my daughter, neither my wife, no problem. Strong immune system. If you are weak, immune system, you better protect yourself, of course. But you can also try to improve it. Uh, that's the nature. You can also, as I did for the detox after my food poisoning, you can protect you, but you can also get rid of uh, specific worms, bacteria, or uh, other pathogens. You know, some, some, they stay for years in the body. They are very clever they can find a place to stay for 20 years. But the problem, if it stays in the body, you develop many autoimmune diseases. So this is an example of uh, the micronutrients that the body needs to do that kind of job. Then we go ahead to, uh, let's say, every vitamin and mineral play a role in the body. So it makes sense to understand, first, do I have them? In what quantity? And do I have them regularly? And today you can have the food supplement in tablet form, in powder, in liquid, or, and that's what we try to do in our company when we do in the factory the good product, a natural food, like the one you had this morning. Okay, for some, maybe you like it or not, but apart from the taste, you had a lot of fiber in the breadstick. You had essential fatty acids, omega-3, 6, and 9, in the seeds included in the breadstick. You had billions of probiotic in the kefir cheese. So this is a three out of the five main elements that you need in one single snack. That's what we try to do. It's not just for the taste, it's for the health. Now, our heart is to change our eating habits. This is something crucial. Like one of my favorite mentors told me, his name is Jim Rohn, don't work hard, work hard smart. And he was totally right, because let's say that's because I came in Padaya that I learned, thanks to you guys actually, that smart nutrition is all about finding a solution on this dilemma. In one hand, it's hard to try to change who we are, right? It makes sense. Second, we don't want to stop to eat what you like to eat. It's a kind of addiction, you know? And number three, 
We don't want to change our social habits. Stay away from people when they say, oh, you have a party, no thanks. I don't drink anymore. I don't drink anymore. I stay at home. Hey, come on, come, come on, come to the buffet. Oh, no, no, I don't eat that. No, no, no. I eat my broccoli, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and people try to do their best. But it, you can't continue like that. I mean, after a couple of weeks, you give up. You know what I mean. You try it, probably. And on the other hand, it's also hard to get sick many times, to develop chronic diseases, to lose the strength and energy, and to get older too fast. It's also hard. So you see, between two of them, here comes smart nutrition. And being smart means making compromises. I would say in love is the same, right? With your wife and you girls with your husband or boyfriend. It's all about compromises. Yeah, you know what I mean. Compromise between our desires, our weaknesses, and the need to take care of our body. We don't have choice, unless we want to kill ourselves, of course. And remember, we're not talking about deprivation. <coughs> okay, no. We're talking about addition. It's like a new window. You don't change too much your habit, but you open a new window. So the protocol is when people come to see me in consultation, the first thing is I give them more information about nutrition fact to make sure they understand everything. Then we have a personal checkup. We want you want to know exactly where I am now in my nutrition path. Um, the way I eat, but also what is my fat level, not only my weight, what is the visceral level fat that I have in the body, which is the killer? What is my body age? And so on. We take also some body measurements. Then, according to the way you eat, because maybe you are fasting, uh, maybe you do intermittent fasting, or maybe you have this, you eat very early in the morning, or maybe very late in the evening, whatever we try to adjust with your current diet, our supplementation program, to make sure you can have it easily. And finally, probably the most important, we have these follow-up sessions that gives you an, uh, an overview, but also you can follow your own results. And you can see week after week how better you feel. And then you stick to your good habits, new good habits. And the process is, as I said, you keep most of your lifestyle habits, you just add new ones. Using the supplementation and superfood, actually, what you do, you, you feed the body at a cellular level. Probably for the first time, for a long time, you, you will do that, because the food we eat today is very poor in micronutrients. It makes you happy because you like the taste and it fill up your stomach. But stomach is a stupid organ. It just talk about quantity, it doesn't care about quality, right? And soon, each of your cells and each of your organs will we work optimally. So what you can expect? Then we have a, another level of protection, let's say. A better immune response. Nowadays, it's crucial to keep your immune system very high. More strength, stamina, energy, deeper astral and restful sleep, unnecessary fat and weight loss, denser muscles, more flexible joint, feel and look younger, and much more. So now the question is smart nutrition for you. We start the smart nutrition with our daughter as soon as she stopped the breastfeeding. So as soon as she was able to chew something, we give her the kefir milk. Then she got uh, a lot of good bacteria. 
we give her the flaxseed oil to get omega-3 for her brain, for child brain development is so important. We, we let her away from uh, any kind of sugar. So it's for everyone because it's safe and natural food. About the price, supplementation programs start at only 25 baht up to 100 baht per day. So even the complete, the full nutrition program is even less than a couple of beer a day. Even though, as I said, we are not cheap compared to 7-Eleven. But I think it's affordable and what you can't afford is being sick. <laughs> so <laughs> it's better sometimes to focus on your body. And our services are for free as, l as soon as you have as you are a member of our club, the membership costs 500 baht for a year, so it's not that expensive. It covers all the consultation and you get also a 10% permanent 10% 10 dis 10 discount on all our products and some specific incentives for members. Finally, uh, to start, if you're interested, I bring uh, today some uh, document, you can just fill the, f the form uh, if you want an appointment with us, then you just come to see, you, you fill the form, and we will contact you back for a consultation. I forgot to bring my uh, watch, but I think now, uh, how many, what time is it? Perfect. So I, I think I had about 30 minutes exactly. And I, I thank you guys for your attention. Have more breadstick here if you want, and even more cheese. No problem, you can come here. So obviously, questions and answers time. Oops. Uh, hello, I'm over here. I'm in front of you, in front of you. <laughs> so you need a vitamin for that, don't you? <laughs> uh, I have to admit to you, I was expecting to fall asleep, and I didn't. So it was a very, you made it a very enlightening uh, discussion, and I thank you very much for that. Thank you. Right, now, um, we brought up this subject before here, uh, about which vitamins we need, and we always, at least I and my friend here, we always think of omega-3. <coughs> Everybody thinks about that. But one of the things I use, uh, and you've knocked it a little bit, is magnesium because uh, I do get uh, cramp, you know. And uh, But I found out when I was in New Zealand, they make some magnesium tablets there, and I take one of those a night, and I never, ever get uh, cr cramp anymore. So, yes, it is, for me, a lifesaver, and I don't get cramp anymore. So it, do you have a list of useful vitamins that we should take you know our fr you know we're all in a similar age group here you know do we need you know omega-3 do, do we, we might not need magnesium but a lot of people need other things for for joints is very very important yeah. and uh, so can you give us uh, an idea of those please yeah I can uh, what I can tell you is uh, the first page in, in, in my book, when I have uh, someone in front of me, is the list of all vitamins and minerals with the column called RDA, Recommended Daily Allowances. But unfortunately, that come from the Second World War, so it's obsolete. And they never change it. No, I mean, they never change the amount. It's only in the 90s, a discipline called bionutrition has revised these numbers and it's amazing. For example, vitamin C, the RDA, still today eh, on the fluid supplement, if you buy vitamin, it's 60 milligram, while the bionutrition recommend 1,500 milligram per day. So we have two problems, three. Uh, number one is the variety. Do you reach them? Answer, not at all. 
you don't have all the vitamin and minerals in your body uh, or in your food, right? Number two, uh, the quantity. Do you reach the RDA or do you reach the bionutrition level, the updated level? Number three, do you take it regularly? And unfortunately, 99% of the people, the answer is no, no, no. Okay, so that's why we try to uh, give the snacks like that, something that you like, because it's, oh, I like it. It's not like, oh, I have to eat that stuff that I don't like. No, it's something pleasant. And you have, in that case, omega-3, 6, 9. About vitamin, minerals, not that much. It's another product called superfood. The superfood contains a lot of vitamin, minerals, and amino acid. And back to your magnesium story, you just uh, confirm what I said before. If you are in shortage of magnesium, it means you don't take it. Don't be surprised if you have sleeping problem, muscle problem, cramp problem. And what you just did is fix the problem. You took magnesium and that's it. However, some people have difficulties to absorb the magnesium. And that's then the oil can help them instead of the tablet. But you did good, yeah. Pascal. Yes. How, when should you take the vitamins after your meal? And um, is it true that if you do dairy, take, like if you eat dairy, and then take the vitamin, it, the vitamin um, effect goes down? Dairy, I won't say dairy, no, I don't think so. I would say fiber. Example, we use a fiber from psyllium husk, which is a kind of powder, right? Very good product. 90% is soluble dietary fiber for only 10% net carbs. It's the most, anyway, it's the highest source of uh, fiber on earth. But when you take it, it also something that clean up your colon and remove a lot of toxins. We use psyllium in detox program. So never take any kind of vitamin or good fats like the omega-3, 6 and 9 together with the psyllium because then it will absorb it and remove from the body. You need to wait about an hour and take your fiber alone. Another thing that can destroy your vitamins is temperature. Never have over 42 degrees Celsius otherwise your vitamin died. So that's why uh, if, you, if you cook something you have to cook slowly, but not take uh, any uh, vitamin over than 42 degrees. On your right side. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your talk. Very good for me, very emotional. And you are the right person. You have the right figure to tell that. Sometimes there's a people uh, speaking about food or doing something and he is this way. <laughs> I cannot believe these people. But you are very good and what I like, emotional. And I wrote one, one or two lines, uh, what you said. Your body is your doctor. And the food is the medicine. Hippocrate. The? Hippocrate, Hippocrate, the guy. Ah, so he said. He said that. Ah, yeah, but uh, I never heard before, but I think it's a very good, and uh, I oh, would yeah. thank you. And I have a question. Have you ever heard about the uh, uh, dry fasting? Yes. Yeah, because for me it is not possible to, to go away. This uh, buffet, I eat so much, and nobody can think I'm uh, slim, same as you, yeah? But tomorrow I will not eat. And maybe the day after tomorrow I will not eat because in the morning I have my weight. And when the weight is going more, I don't eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I drink one beer or yeah, maybe a soup. Yeah. But no meat and no, uh, no making fat things. I understand. This is my way. And thank you for your talk. Very good. Thank you very much. And if I understand your, from your accent, I can say, Danke schön. <laughs> 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 Lens. Uh, hi, Pascal. Um, I've known Pascal for quite a number of years, actually. And if Pascal can't help you, you've got one of the best doctors in Patia, opposite his clinic. <laughs> um, but the one thing I was interested in, in this AHA, uh -huh, uh, bringing in sort of large-scale hydroponics, 
because at the Child Protection and Development Center, they actually do it themselves. And they actually have become, they've actually become self-sufficient uh, to the extent that now they have an excess which they are starting to sell to outside. They use crayfish more than anything else in the bottom of the tanks. Are you talking about the one in Waiai? The Human Help Foundation, the Human no, it's Help the Network? Child, no, the Human Help, Protection, Human Help Network, Network is one thing. Yeah. This is the Child Protection and Development Centre, okay. where they actually grow everything themselves. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Because we already installed a system in the Human Help Network in YA uh, two ah. months ago, aquaponic. So they have an organic garden, mushroom garden, and now they have the aquaponic mm. two lines of uh, growing system. So you must know Kuntai very yes. well. Then. Yeah, this is this is really nice. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, Pascal, <coughs> but I happen to be a vegetarian and I just have a little bit of vitamin B12 every day is that sufficient if you vegetarian yes if, I'm if vegetarian. you vegetarian you don't have choice because you can find vitamin B12 in many vegetables like spirulina is full of B12 but but the body can't absorb it so I will have a tablet you have to have a tablet I do. Yeah. Is that sufficient? Yes. Thank you very much. It's, it's uh, some 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 vitamin B12 in the vegetables are not well absorbed compared to the B12 included in the liver of meat. Oh. Okay. Lizaba. On your left side. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can use. Uh, first, I'd like to thank. Pascal for a truly wonderful animated talk. Another round of applause for Pascal. It was really Thank wonderful. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Um, I, by the way, I gave a talk, a 15 minute talk on kefir about five, six years ago. It's, uh, on the, it should still be up on the web, uh, recommending it to people. And I'm sure nobody did anything about it, by the way. But it's great that you can buy it there. Oh, one tip I will give you about kefir. Uh, the lactose uh, is turned into lactic acid. So if you're lactose intolerant, it's not a problem, okay. but it's extremely acidic. So really you want to eat something after you take, swallow some kefir to get the acid out of your mouth. The other thing, I w uh, we also had a talk years ago about the aquaponics from the people who, I'm not sure if it was the same firm, and you, there is an actual opportunity to invest them in them as well. So it'd be great if we could get you and the aquaponics guy together to give another talk. Uh, I do get emails from them occasionally. Yeah, yeah, it was north, but they, they're coming south. And, and it, it has all sorts of benefits for growing the vegetables here, like lettuce, so they're not McDonald's flying them in from overseas with the concomitant uh, impact on the environment from jet fuel and stuff. Uh, the one thing I, I was interested in, uh, this, by the way, there's more and more research showing the, the amazing relationship between gut health and brain function. Uh, and uh, one of the, they're really showing that, uh, but the other thing that when, I, when you were talking about your terrible encounter with food poisoning, that I wondered if you'd uh, looked at fecal matter transplant for that. No, Cause no not at that time. Uh, it was uh, something that, to be honest, at that time, I didn't know. In 2017, we did not talk that much about. Because fecal matter transplant is like, it's, it's like this new miracle thing. Exactly. Um, th and they are starting to do it in Bangkok, and I'm going to try to get somebody down to talk about it. It's harder during the week to get doctors and stuff. It was better when it was on Sundays. But if you got, you know, if for instance, if I was started to show early signs of Alzheimer's, I would get a fecal matter transplant because. What I can say, I recommend to everyone. Uh, you can go to visit my friend, Dr. Pantali, in Bangkok Hospital. She's a. Uh, uh, actually, she's not a common doctor compared to the Thai doctors that you may f meet before. She's a qualified, of course, PhD, but she's also an anti-aging and a nutritionist. And you can ask for the ICJ, uh, ICG uh, test to see what is your food intolerance. Me, it helped me a lot because in the red list, the number one, for example, was sunflower seeds. And I eat a handful every day. 
The wheat flour is almost in each uh, ICG test that I see from my customer that have been visiting Dr. Pantali and many uh, dairies and things like that. So when you do that first, you have already the list of what you should stay away to avoid uh, the, the big problem. Yes, uh, Don De Pantoli has given two talks at the club <coughs> and we're trying to get her for uh, January, but it looks like she's been doing a course in Bangkok, otherwise she would have given a talk by now, but hopefully February next year we'll, get, we'll be getting her back. And I know that some people from the talks have used her extensively. Uh, like Richard Smith. Anybody here seen Dr. Pantali? Yeah, she's uh, she is really something. She's a doctor. She believes in sta keeping you away from medicines and doing the P Sir Pascal's type of way. Is is yogurt with the two bacteria almost as good as uh, kefir? Say again, excuse me, Adan. Yogurt with the two bacteria. I live in Bulgaria, and there's okay. tremendous yogurt everywhere, and they're very. I find good effects from it, but yeah. how would uh, you rate it to kefir? Normally in, in every yogurt, homemade yogurt, I'm not talking about the industrial yogurt, you have one bacteria, lactylobacillus. In kefir, you have 35 different strains of bacteria. It's amazing. That's nothing to do with yogurt. It looks the same, it tastes the same, but it's another league, really. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. But you need to, to consider the quality of the milk first. You know, something strange in Thailand, but like in many countries, we are obsessed by the hygiene, you know? Try to put gel all the time, we try to protect all the time, but we destroy the human nature that is need to g live with bacteria because we are bacteria. Yeah. We are made by them thousand years ago on a 1,000 page book of the history of the earth. The men arrive at the last page at the end. All before was bacteria. And we need to live together in symbiosis. So you need the good uh, the, the, to understand that. Don't be too scared about uh, eating uh, be something, get, let your immune system do the job. That's very important. Yeah, uh, Thierry? Yes, uh, just, uh, I am 100% agree with Pascal. Huh? I would like just to, to speak about one key, about uh, the health. You have to learn to listen your body. It's very important. You have by yourself to know what is wrong and to take care First, priority, what is wrong? And after, step by step, you can follow a process. To learn to listen your body is very important. Mm -hmm. You agree? Mm. I agree. Mm. Yes. Thank you. We hear Carl. Ah, hello. <laughs> yeah, I've been to your shop before and found it very interesting. And uh, the question I'm asking, what's your take on uh, uh, people who suffer with busy legs? Um, I long ago read something about quinine and uh, uh, I recommended it to a couple of friends and they've got rid of their busy legs, that mainly in bed where they're moving about all the time. Mm. You may try the magnesium as well, lotion, and then you apply after your shower, whatever you apply the magnesium. It's not that sticky, it goes through the skin within 15 minutes, it's, it's dry already. And you do that, and after two, three nights already, you should feel a huge difference. Another thing that I heard about it is a kind of a yoga, but to you put your legs on the top against the wall. Yeah. However, it's a discipline, and I'm, I'm not really an expert, but what I know is the magnesium should make a huge difference. You can try. Yeah. Uh, just a couple of observations. First of all, you took the picture down, but I want to point out that your beautiful wife is just as knowledgeable and just as um, knows what to say to me when I'm there as you are, and she's far better looking than you. So I, I just want to I point agree. that out. And um, second of all, I, uh, 
I taught public speaking for years, and I want to tell you that what you've done tonight is finally the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, these are visual aids. These are not your speech. These are aids to your speech. And you never turned around and read from them, but you used them to enhance your speech and always faced us. And that's, that. Uh, Ren helped people do that because that is the way to do it. Yeah, I know he's got a monitor, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's, uh, it's it, the right way, and you, you, you involve us, and uh, so very good. Thank it, you. It's, it's entirely because we now have a monitor, and people don't have to turn around it's to true. check it's, what's on it's screen. It's very helpful. So uh, they've started doing that from my request, and, other, <coughs> and uh, also Bangkok Batai Hospital. So hopefully the days of people having to turn around to check the PowerPoint advanced are gone. Great. Um, Hello. Hello. Can, can I ask you about milk generally? Um, I buy milk in 7-Eleven when I need it, obviously. I find that the milk here very often lasts so much longer. I mean, when I was in Ireland and I bought milk, after two or three days it, it, it had it. It was, it was going off. But here I can see a sell-by date which is probably 10 days in advance. And even when you're, they're selling m milk that's going out of date, it still lasts well beyond that. Is there something like Dutch mill I buy, but I find that it lasts incredibly okay. long time. Is there something they're adding to the milk to extend its lifespan? Yeah, um, th I thank you for your question because it, it reminded me to finish what I was saying before. I was lost in my uh, talking about hygiene and it exactly what happened. Our kefir milk, or the kefir cheese, is made from farm milk, right? So it goes straight from the farm after being cooked slowly for three, four hours, not too high to don't kill the nutrition, but enough to kill the possible bacteria from the farm. Then it arrives at our factory, still warm, and we start the fermentation with the microorganism. But some of them milk we let on the side for our daughter that loves the fresh taste of fresh farm milk is unique. Actually, maybe I was 12 years old or 10 years old the last time I drank real milk. And the answer to your question is now is all pasteurized and UHD because the big corporation don't want them you sue them don't want you sue them if you have a little problem in your gut so protection 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 put the temperature high and kill the nutrition but we don't care about the health people you know we want the product is safe in the name of safety but safe but no nutrition anymore do you see the difference so you can keep a week in your fridge, two weeks in your fridge, three weeks in your fridge, but it is not milk anymore. And it's the same with the kefir or kombucha. Uh, we, have, we have asked to the FDA to get a license. They say you can't get the license unless you pasteurize your kombucha or your kefir. I say, what? But it, if I pasteurize them, there is no life in it. No nutrition. I know it's like that, sir, is our policy, sir, in the name of the FDA, the most corrupted organism in the world, that say, when I have stevia in my, my shop, stevia plant, 100% from the leaf, not approved by FDA. It sounds like a oh, dangerous product, right? But if your name is Monsanto Bayer and you come with the stevia extract, add it with some chemicals from my company and then I patent for the money and I go to the FDA stamp approved by FDA and actually it is shit and poison that's the world we're living in that's exactly like that thank you for your question very interesting <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, on behalf of everyone here, I would like to say merci beaucoup, Pascal. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Pascal. Big round of applause.
I love speakers like Pascal because they make me look good. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. C'est magnifique. Um, uh, Pascal, don't leave this with me. This is yours. By the way, the Health Hut is on uh, Town in Town, Soy Town in Town. It's very, if you drive riding or, uh, on a motorbike, it's usually very, very easy to get a park there. So you really want to go and minimally check out what product they have at 